did some slight damage to my wallet um so I'm gonna show you what to, what I got um I went to Publix and I got some creamer I also got Olaplex because they had Olaplex there and I was looking for it in Target and they didn't have it in Target and then I got my friend a good get well soon letter because she was in the hospital and then a new deodorant because I wanted to try out a new deodorant that's a little TMI. You, you don't care about my deodorant. And then from Target today, I found that they had um, xiaolongbao or pork soup dumplings there. So I got really excited and I wanted to try those. And then they also have oops, Thai um, spring rolls because we make these at home, like homemade. But I wanted to try theirs just to see how it was if I fry them. And then... I got all these coffee things because I'm so excited. I got this vanilla syrup and this caramel sauce. Yeah, caramel sauce. And then I also got a Starbucks um, blonde roast. And then I also got their caramel because they both say ground coffee. So I hope that the blonde roast can be used. I think so. But blonde is typically their espresso. Oh my gosh, and then the most exciting thing, the reason why I got all this coffee stuff. So I'm about to go into college. So I got a nice coffee maker. A nice coffee maker. It was on sale earlier this year for like $19, um, and I didn't get it because I worked at a job that didn't pay me very well. Um, but. I bought it for 35 now because they finally had it back in stock and it's been out of stock since like September. So I got this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But I'm going to eat first because I'm really hungry and I haven't eaten in a while. So join me while we make some food and the disaster that is my bangs because I was at my friend's house and it's super hot outside.
give up. I can't get it undone. Next day. Another day, another migraine. <laughs> My on time percentage, twelve percent. Grain. <laughs> um, I've just done some like general like housekeeping kind of stuff. I did my nails. Um, I just did some like stick-on ones from like Olive and Young, I think they are. Um, like some glue-on ones. I did some dishes. Um, and then I've just been planning out some things like pricing and then I have spent my time with um, Megan and Paloma um, and I just I decided that I wanted to make some cookies I have treated myself to a coffee I had like four glasses of water 
I've really tried to like cut down on my coffee intake and work on my water intake so once I finished that last glass of water I was like coffee time for me so yeah I'm just gonna I'm gonna make some cookies and then I'm gonna do a mock-up of the prints because I finished a print last night um, I'll show it to you it's somewhat I just didn't finish recording it because um, my camera was can't see all the colors it's it's more purple there we go but finished that last night um so yeah i'm gonna mock that one up with the past one that i have and try printing them on my home printer and see how that goes if not i'll just use the cardstock for like um i'll just use it for like business cards or things like that so yeah and then i'm also gonna try doing the tote bags today um we'll see how that goes if i'm in the mood for sewing and then also i have a ton of scrap fabric that i need to get rid of like i have a ton of like pink satin and blue satin and i have some muslin so i'm going to see if i have any elastic hanging around to do like scrap scrunchies so yeah let's go make some cookies i i, I really want cookies <laughs> I just wanted some ASMR. <laughs> they don't want me to have cookies. I just realized I never showed you guys what I got from the store yesterday. So, let me show you. So, from Hobby Lobby, I try to restrict myself because that is a very dangerous store for me to be in, as well as Michael's. So, I got some new um, 20 gauge wire because I needed some more. I mean, I am on like the last bit of my current wire. So, got some new ones, and these are supposed to be tarnish resistant. So, it's more expensive. So, hopefully, it is. Um, and then, you know, I couldn't resist myself. They were 50% off, okay? I know I have two whole things over there, but I've wanted these ones for a long time. I think that they are so pretty. And then I also got, like, these amethyst ones. Well, these say agate on them, but 
I got these ones as well. So I can make more bracelets, more variety. I just, oh, I love those colors. Anyways, the big things that I went to was Walmart. I hate Walmart, but I had to go in there anyways. I'm hoping to do um, like a small pop-up shop, like just a try to see if people like my products at a coffee shop near where I live. So I got some jewelry boxes. These ones will be for bracelets. Um, and then I can decorate them on top and everything like that as well. And then I got some small ones for earrings. So I did those because I've been looking for some. It's just that they don't have like a ton of like great ones. So I found those and they were cheap and I was surprised about it. And then I got this just to put scrunchies in um, at the little shop. I could put them all in here. People can go and look through them or I could put something else in here. And then I got this really big thing of cardstock. And for some reason, it is extremely heavy. Oh my goodness. I was so shocked. But I got this cardstock because I couldn't find the paper that I wanted. But I wanted to test the prints on cardstock anyways at Staples. So um, this is a good test to see if I can do them at home. Or if, you know, cardstock is the way that I want to go at Staples. So I got that. And then the big things that I went there for is actually items for the tote bags that I'm making. So I got some of these belting or strapping. It's just cotton strapping. Um, and it's just in this like beige kind of color. And I got two of these because they were the only ones that they had. Um, I, I would have gotten more, but this was all that they had. And then, oh, my nail feels loose. That's not good. And then I got some canvas. This is a drop cloth, but it's six foot by nine foot and it's really thick. It's heavy duty. I mean, it literally says hyper tough on it. But um, for tote bags, the issue that I was having the last time that I made my own tote bag is that I made it out of a really light canvas, like almost like a muslin. Um, and I have been using it so much that now it's kind of starting to fall apart. And I don't want that to happen with these tote bags, especially if I'm selling them. Or just in general, you want your tote bags to be able to last and for them to be able to be washable. And this is. So hopefully this is thick enough um, to properly uh, support your book bags, your, to your textbooks. Because my current one is really only light stuff. So hopefully this will be able to properly support anything that you need. So yeah, that's what I got. Just some, you know, shop kind of things. So yeah. Oh my gosh. The thing with this is that I don't know if like this is the best option or if this is how like it print on normal cardstock because like kinda I feel like the quality isn't the same as like if it's on the computer like specifically like these flowers in the corner like I feel like these are more detailed there are I think they are also brighter and then also like just the detail in like the back shrubbery that I feel may have gotten slightly lost but it also just may be my art style in the way that like it's portrayed like while printing um I did put it on like a high print quality and I am using like the, I don't know. 
It may just be my art style, and then my art style is a little, like, it just doesn't translate the best. I, like, I may want, like, gloss paper instead of, like, a cardstock. But this is, it's exciting. I mean, like, my own, like, artwork. It's, like, getting printed. And that, and that's super cool. So I kept the settings the same. I'm gonna try printing this one. But I kept the settings the same because I'm slightly afraid of, like, putting it on a glossy setting. And just because it's not glossy, it's cardstock, so I don't know how it's going to react. The print quality is high, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it comes out because this has a lot of, like, distortion on it and the clouds and then the reflection of the water. But it's not as, like, many, like, tiny pieces to it. Like, the, the biggest tiny pieces are, like, down here. So... I don't know, we'll, we'll see how this goes, but it is printing. And it definitely has a texture to it, which is the cardstock. And I think that may be what's throwing me off is that cardstock texture. I may want to do printed glossy prints, but that's not exactly what, like what I wanted. I kind of wanted a more like matte print. But I feel like this one's more photo accurate, which I do like. I, I like that it's that it, it's appearing to be more photo accurate. I think part of my issue is the texture of the actual paper. Like that's nothing that I can necessarily help because even like down here on the white, it has a texture. It's just not as visible as like you know whenever like colored ink is on it. Yeah, it has kind of like a grainy texture to it, and I think that's just the cardstock. You know I need that, right? Let's ignore the socks. Cooter. Oh, he sees a string. Hi, pretty boy. So, I finished a tote bag and my room is an absolute disaster and it's hours later you know it it holds things like like a tote bag should um and i don't like fear that this one's going to fall apart on me um because that was definitely my fear with like the muslin so this one i don't think it's going to fall apart on me i just think it might need a lining and like reinforced seams with like the french seaming so yeah But I think I'm probably going to be done for tonight. I might paint some of the boxes or at least like do some more of like the digital work. Um, but like regarding sewing, I think I'm done because I definitely want to wash the fabric. Um, when are you buy like fabric, sometimes it comes with a smell and it definitely did. It has a really pot like potent smell and I don't know what it is. Um, so I need to wash it a few times to get that out of it. Um, I just wanted to test the tote bag first. So yeah. Um, I might work on scrunchies, but I'm kind of done with the sewing machine. Um, I burnt myself a lot with the iron, so I'm kind of just done. So yeah. I might edit. Bye. So while editing, I realized that I forgot to create an outro or continue filming the next day, but the video is quite long, so I just wanted to say thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. If you did like, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you guys on another day. Have a good day or evening, no matter what time it is whenever you're watching this video, and I will catch you guys another time.